So we'll just take a moment to have a look at the difference between coloured pigments and coloured stains, liquid stains. These are the pigments that we use for spraying solid colours. If you want to completely block the colour of the wood out, you would use a pigment mixed into your lacquer. Now, if you wanted to keep the colour transparent and still see the wood grain through the stain, you would use these liquid stains or dyes. They get mixed into the clear just the same way as you would mix a solid colour, except they retain some transparency so you can see through them. If I'm doing a natural finish on a guitar where I want the wood grain to be visible, yet I still want to impart some colour on the guitar, I will use these liquid stains. I won't use these pigments. So this is a quick example of what you can achieve using transparent stains. There's no solid colours being used on this guitar. What I've done is I've sprayed a couple of toner coats of vintage amber. It's a Queensland maple body, but you can see we've achieved this lovely amber colour. And then I've mixed some tobacco brown into the clear and I've sprayed the burst around the front and around the sides and also around the back. So there's no solid pigments used in this guitar. This is just done with our transparent stains. So the key feature is that you can still see all of the wood grain, all of the figuring through the stain. It is transparent, yet it imparts that colour over the top of the wood.